Beating about legends, good morning. We are, this morning, at a place called Crocodilus Park. So, I've been away for like a month on course uh, with work, so I haven't been able to do anything in the way, so it's good to get back out and about. But, this place looks really good actually, so we'll um, bring you along for the adventure and see what we're going to see today. Get some crocodile burgers. We're waiting to get onto the uh, um, boat, so we can't really go too far into the park. On it, I'm just laughing at some bur some girls fucking annoying the parrots, and it's shouting at it. And the parrots just squeal at her, and she's near shed her pants. <laughs> what do you see these bad boys? Right, round about legends. Have a look at this monster. Look at the size of him. So this place is different to the Tartary Wildlife Park that we've been to before that we put a video up of on. Because this like this here pretty much sits in the city. It's um like against the main road as well and it's just like it's crazy what they've done with the space that we've got. You know what I mean? It's really really good. But I'll just keep showing you all the animals and then um Please like, share and subscribe it, because um, it's absolutely beautiful here. Now we're getting in the realm of big salties. They're getting bigger and bigger. Right, legends, could you imagine that boy? Look at the size of his head. That's just crazy. And it, as usual, a camera doesn't do it justice, but he is massive. Check out this guy. Look at the size of this thing. Look, that's just this top half. The head on it. Imagine that pulling you under the water. You've got no chance. No. Salt water crocs are definitely scurry creatures. I mean, look at the size of this monster. has broken there you are welcome to chat throughout the tour just not over the top of me please so that those that are willing to listen have the ability to actually hear me talking um otherwise before we go how many crocodiles are in here 40, 45. 45. Yeah. Uh, at least two people listening to the safety talk is a little bit boring <laughs> all right fingers don't stick through the railings elbows arms don't go over most importantly don't go Tyson look there's two big crocodiles right here. Because I don't go from blue shorts to brown shorts, we all do as a group. Everything on the inside, please. Now, what you're going to see in here is exactly what you'll see out in the wild. Only difference is these crocodiles are going to approach the boat looking for an easy feed. So 80% of the crocodiles in here are wild problematic animals, taking livestock, um, attacking uh, small boats, and just getting too comfortable around people. Do apologise, the outboards have been lifted up a bit there, so I'm just lowering them down here. There we go. Back of their tongue, which allows them to excrete the salt out of their body through osmosis, which is the movement of water in their cells. Uh, so pretty much most of their lifetime, they're actually in fresh water. There's more food, the more food, the bigger the crocodile, the bigger the crocodile. Unfortunately, she was in a really big fight. The end of her tail got torn off just a couple days ago, if you look carefully. These, we strategically did it at the start of the dry. The tiring out, they can't fight each other like they usually would in the wet. Um, so the next wet season, when they all start wearing the breed, is when the boys are going to start trying to expand their territory, looking for girls. That's when we're going to start seeing those really big fights occur. Alrighty, guys. So this girl here on a good day, believe it or not, because she's a much lighter crocodile. You've got to think, Prince weighs half a ton. He's going to require a lot more energy coming up out of the water. This girl here, a lot lighter in weight, nowhere near the size that Prince is. It's a lot easier for her to propel herself up out of the water. During the wet season, I'll quite often get her up to the blue canvas fish fingers when she's really switched on. We have the big girl um, um, Escobars come in the water. 
and then Chloe's sitting at the back, so Escobar's getting really cheeky. Now, Prince doesn't like Escobar. Uh, quite often when she comes in the water, like now she's taking off, Prince will chase her up onto the bank. Doesn't like her at all. Uh, I'll see at least one or two birds of wheat get eaten. Uh, so I used to only see one bird a day get eaten uh, after I start saying it should not. But it's a really cool thing to sort of start learning about and actually understanding. When's breeding season? Breeding season, so we've completely passed it. So uh, courtship, so the start of the breeding typically starts early June. Okay, here, this is Grandma Susie. Um, she's about 80 to 90 years of age, we believe. Now, everyone goes, why do you say that, Tyson? Yeah, what's well, lifespan? Lifespan yeah. over uh, 100 years in captivity, out in the wild, 6 to 80. Now, I'd say 80 to 90. It's hard to tell. Every time I ask her, she's just going to give me a blank. the meerkats. Meerkat. <laughs> Look at the hair one. You check these guys out. It's Mr. Emu. He's prancing up inside the side of the uh <laughs> the hair one. Look at the size of that one. That was crazy. The size of it. So we're just leaving the um, baboons and the dingoes and we're headed up to um, there's like a wee forest walk type thing I think. The Jurassic Walk. So it's like we're in um, Jurassic Park and you're walking around this place. They've done this Jurassic Park bit pretty good. I mean, all they really need to do is just use the the trees that naturally grow here, and then throw some of these bad boys in. Oh, got dinosaur eggs! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is so good. Dinosaur eggs. Who's that boy's neck? <laughs> I know he's news. Rhinoceros iguanas. We came back to these because they're pretty amazing. Look at the nostrils on them. He's like, hear you. Hello. This guy is chilling like a villain. Look at this. So you can um, 
can't pet them, but that's like the rest of you, so you can walk around and give them a wee pat and stuff. He doesn't look much like an Ambonia box truck to me. Hey, you Paul. Hey, you Paul. Hey, you Paul. I don't know how long that knack is, but I'm sure you can reach me from here. Right then, eating about legends, these are your dingoes. And they just look like um, like a nice dog. Do you know what I mean? Where's he went? He's disappeared. Oh, there he is there. Look, so I mean, that's a dingo. Um, yeah, they do look like just nice dogs, but can you imagine dingoes having to go at you? We've seen them up in the Tartary Wildlife Park as well, which was so good. But this place is amazing. If you ever get a chance to come up this park, then um, do it. It's so much fun.